Ghost means strange. Alien sightings of New Zealand. 1955. In 1955, the captain of the National Airways Corporation aircraft reported seeing a light and showed apparent movement and changes in color intensity. Director of intelligence at the Carter Observatory included concluded that it was as it rose in the night sky. 1959, a Birmingham farmer claimed to have seen lights of UFO containing two green men in silvery suits in 1959. 1978, the Karakaro Lights is named given on New Zealand media. A series of sightings occurred in December 1978 where the skies of the Kalamana Mountains ranges in north east of New Zealand's South Island. The first sightings were made on first December, 21st December. The crew of the Safe Air Limited Cargo Aircraft began observing a series of strange lights around their Armstrong Whitworth EW860 Aero Escutsai aircraft, which traced tracked along the aircraft for several minutes of before disappearing and reappearing elsewhere. The UFO was very large had five white flashing lights visible on the craft. Some people say they could not could see some little disc drop UFO and then disappear. They never found. The pilot described some of the lights to be the size of a house and others small but flashing brilliantly. These objects appeared to, uh, on the aircraft controller radar in Wellington and also the aircraft's onboard radar. On 30th December 1978, a television crew from Australia recorded background film for a network show of net interviews about the sightings. For many minutes of a, a time, of the flight to Christchurch, unidentified lights were observed by five people on the flight deck. They were tracked by Wellington air control, traffic controllers and filmed in colour by a television crew. One object reportedly followed its aircraft with, almost until landing. The cargo plane took off again, with the television crew still on board, heading to ben- Benham. The aircraft reached about 2,000 feet, encountered a giant loaded orb, which fell into the station off the wing tip, and tracked along with the cargo aircraft for almost a quarter of an hour. While being filmed, watch tracked on the aircraft radar, and described on a tape recording made by the TV crew. A spate of sightings followed at the initial port, the Air Force Skyhawk was put on standby to investigate any possible sightings. Following the sightings, the Royal Navy, a Royal Na- Zealand Air Force Police and Carter Observation in Wellington corroborated the investigation, results of which were lodged in National Archives in Wellington. National um, uh, uh, New Zealand Ministry of Defence distributed the sightings to lights and squid boats reflected on clouds, unburnt meteors or lights from the planet Venus or trains and cars.